Hey guys, and welcome back to EQ Planes, and today I'll be unboxing the Air Canada A320 in the new all-black Jets livery from NG Models, along with the new HYJL Wings Lynx 737 MAX 8 that has been released using the NG Models mold. These are some models I've had on order for quite some time, as I believe I bought both of these back in October or November of last year, so definitely looking forward to finally being able to unbox these brand new models. But without further ado, Let's get into it, starting out with the HYJL Wings 737 MAX 8. Now, this is the first release of a Lynx Airlines aircraft in 1-400 to scale, which I'm definitely glad to see, as Lynx has become quite the carrier in Canada, as their fleet has grown to almost 9 aircraft, well actually is at 9 aircraft, almost at 10 uh, at this point in time. Now, this and the brand new released NG models that just came out, I believe last month, are both on the same mold, you're getting the identical aircraft. However, with the HYJL wings, you'll get a limited edition card as their version of this model, which is the exact same, only had 150 produced of it. However, if you do get the NG models aircraft um, for this version, then that will give you a rewards card, which I think is probably a little more useful than just a standard limited edition card. Now, let's take a closer look at this Lynx Air 737 MAX 8 from HYJL Wings. So, as I previously discussed, this is using the NG Model 737 MAX 8 mold, and this is the first NG Model 737 MAX 8 that I am able to add to my collection. All my other uh, 737 MAXs are from either Gemini Jets or Phoenix or even a few from Aero Classics, so it's definitely nice to see NG Models uh, make this mold, considering that I believe their 737-800 is one of the best molds out there, not only for the 737-800, uh, but in 1-400 to scale in general. So seeing that expanded onto the 737 Max is something that I'm definitely happy to see. I wager to say this is the best 737 Max mold out there in 1-400 to scale right now although Gemini Jets also does offer a pretty compelling example. For reference, here is a Gemini Jet 737 MAX 8 wearing the Flair Airlines livery, which is another Canadian ULCC rivaling Lynx, if uh, that is something you weren't already up to speed I'm very with. happy to see HYJL Wings and NG Models create a Lynx Air 737 MAX 8 in 1-400, as it is the first example of a Lynx aircraft created in 1-400 scale and is also a model that I think a lot of Canadian ex collectors were quite excited for, as Lynx has become a somewhat prevalent ULCC in Canada with a fleet of nine aircraft, a fairly extensive uh, route network throughout the country and into the United States, and they continue to grow and expand as time goes on. They took their first flight back in April of 2022, which is something I was very fortunate to be able to participate in. I was on their inaugural flight from Calgary to Vancouver, uh, back in April of 2022. Now when talking about the livery itself in more detail, you have the Lynx logo at the front, the red and blue wingtips along with the red and blue tail, being a relatively simple livery. I was actually a much bigger fan of the livery that was initially going to be put onto these aircraft back when it was under Enerjet. However, the launch of the airline was delayed because of the 737 MAX groundings and COVID. The thing of note is that this aircraft is registered Charlie Golf Lima Yankee X-Ray, which is in the later iteration of the Lynx Air livery, which features a paw print located just underneath the aircraft and the uh, light blue paw prints going across the side of the aircraft on only this side for some reason. It certainly was an interesting choice to only put it on one side of the aircraft. However, the rest of Lynx's aircraft do not feature those uh, extra features on the livery, just uh, being the exact same livery you see here without those paw prints on it. I certainly think it was a nice touch to the livery and definitely hope that we get to see it added to more of their aircraft. Another aircraft in the Lynx fleet is a ex-Norwegian aircraft uh, wearing the Norwegian color schemes without the Norwegian logo and with just white over the tail where Norwegian typically features a uh, special person of some kind. Certainly would have been interesting to see NG models release that particular aircraft. But yeah, overall, in the end, I'm quite happy with this Lynx Air 737 MAX. I'm certainly glad to add this to my collection and airport updates. Now let's unbox the Air Canada Jets A320 in this new all-black livery. So now this will be my first NG models A320 CO mold, which is something I am very excited to have as the Gemini Jets A320 CO 
certainly lacks in some areas. So it'll be really nice to have a good example of this aircraft in particular, especially wearing such a unique livery being that of the all black Air Canada jets. But without further ado, let's take a closer look at the model itself. So taking a look at this NG models Air Canada A320CO, let's first talk about the mold. Now this is definitely the far superior A320 mold uh, in one to 400 scale. Now I found that the Aero Classics mold isn't that bad. Uh, neither is the Phoenix mold. They could definitely be improved, but they are certainly better than the Gemini Jets mold. But this blows that out of the water. I do have one of the A321s from them in the uh, CO mold, which is also a uh, very nice model, but I'm also glad to now have the A320 as well. So, with that being said, let's take a closer look at the livery, featuring what's almost an inverted version of Air Canada's new livery, uh, with the belly of the aircraft being white with the rondelle on the bottom, with the rest of the aircraft being painted in black, and the tail being the standard Air Canada new livery tail. Now, very glad to see them release this in 1 to 400 scale, as the old Air Canada Jets A319s, which has now been retired, were released as an exclusive model, uh, or rather a model by Sea Jets, which uses the Panda Wings model uh, for the A319 um, to feature on that aircraft. However, the Air Canada Jets A319s have now been retired and completely replaced with the Air Canada A320s. I would definitely like to see NG models release the Air Canada A320 in both the toothpaste livery along with the uh, new standard livery as well as those would definitely be nice additions to any Canadian collector's collections and models that have not really seen great production in 1 to 400 scale despite being some of the most common aircraft uh, throughout Canada. But overall this is definitely a model I'm quite happy with and just like the uh, Lynx Air 737 MAX 8 I'm very glad they released it. I'm looking forward to adding this to my airport updates and my collections. Anyways, with that being said, thank you guys for watching and hope to see you guys back next time.